Hey everyone, this is Lynette Chandler from Thrive Anywhere. And today I just want to show you two of our digital paper templates. And I want to show it to you using Affinity because this is what I use to create these templates. However, these templates are available in PowerPoint as well. But it works just the same way if you know how to finagle PowerPoint's layers. All right, so as you can see here, I've got one of those um, digital papers as my background. So that's one way you can use your digital papers as Zoom backgrounds, as live stream backgrounds, or, or your regular for digital crafts and your workbooks or whatever it is that you want to create. If you want to sell an Etsy, you can do that as well. But I just want to show you how to use this to really uh, create infinite versions or infinite types of designs that you can use with just these two templates. And just a little housekeeping here. Um, we've got a new puppy. So if you hear me like shouting out to them or these little feet running around, that's them. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Let's start here. So I'm going to show you my screen. Let's get this down <clears throat> over here. And where's my application that would be this. Okay, so I trust everybody sees this blue uh, pattern on the screen here. All right, so this is our digital paper template that you see here. Okay, I've got this. And currently, this is the design that I have it on. Now, the original design is not this. It's, it's more like a pinkish color. Well, let's see here. Let me show you my my screen again. Let me get back to this here. So what you actually see, the colors, the original colors is what you see here in the background. And I've played with it so much that it totally changes what it was from that. So that's one way that you can use uh, what you can actually do. That's a great way to show you what you can actually do. Okay, so if I drop this here on this little artboard, move things around here, and move things around. Okay, let me clear my... Okay, so now I have this. I don't need this textile, so I'm gonna... Because my digital papers don't have text, so I can use the full space of my screen. In Affinity, to the right here, you will find the layers panel. If you don't see that, you would go up to window, actually it's view, and then go to uh, studio, and then select the layers panel. It's the one right there. So I have it checked, and that's why you see it there. Okay, so every layer here will give you different. Let me remove all the layers and you see, if I remove all the layers, all I get is a blank background. Now I can change the color of this background. Let's say to this. See what I mean? This is crazy. All right. So what I have here is a, a set of colors that I found that I really like. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to enter the hex code of the colors. Okay. That one would be a really good background color. All right. So I really like that, and I'll keep that as my background. Now, when I select that to enable the layers, so this little check mark here, if you probably don't see it, okay, let's see if I zoom in. No, I can't zoom into that. I can only zoom into, but it is right here on this corner. You will see that these little check boxes here are basically a way to enable and disable every layer or rather show and hide each layer. So I've got these lines now, show and hide each one of them. And you see how as I show and as I hide each one of these, again, it's different. So if I want this and this, okay, and I select lines one and I'm going to make this, this color palette. 
the color palette that I chose has three colors, so I think this would work really well. And then for lines three, I want it to be this bright pink. All right. So right there is one pattern all by itself and you can play around with it some more. We have five different lines to work with. So again, even though this is a different color palette, so it brings a little bit of contrast to it and brightness, which I also like that this uh, color works really well together. So that's just the lines, all right? So if I don't do the lines, I the next layer or the next group I have here is what I call a zigzag. So I'm going to enable this group so that I can hide or, sh or show whatever is in the slant. So I have layer five and layer one here selected. So let's what happens if I make them different colors? Okay, like I did before. And this is what I come up with. But you can also make them the same color like you had just now. Uh, what if I want, I don't want that. I don't want that. And I want three and two. Okay, so it's the, the same type of pattern, but you just shifted it around. Three and two and four. Okay, basically this is three different you know, zigzag leaving the center in there. But if I want the whole zigzag pattern to show, this is what it looks like. And again, that yellow really plays nicely with the new color palette that I set. Unintentionally, I have, even though my color palettes are from totally different palettes, but accidentally you will find yourself uh, making designs like this that, hey, they work out pretty good and you can add it to your palette to make another one. Okay, now we're done with the zigzag. Let's look at the surface circles. That's the circle. I don't believe I've got all of them. Oh yeah, I do. So let's change all of this to one color and you'll find that it's pretty straightforward. And if I change these colors to be that, now I have a totally different color. What if I just flip things around? I do four and two, I make that color and I change the background rectangle to that. Whoa, this is really super bright. But then again, some people might like this. Okay, so it's not my jam. So I'm gonna change that background color to that light. So I like that. All right, then we go to the half circle group. And this is the group I started with. There again, this looks pretty nice, even though it's a different uh, color palette. All right, let me see the white here. What if I change the white to the pink? That looks pretty nice too. So you can really mix and match different color palettes and come up with a completely new design. You don't even have to stay with the same color palettes. But let's say I do want to stay with the same color palette. So I will make that red or rather pink and that and then I'll just alternate them. And last one is this. And that's what I come up with. That's what I have. This is one palette. And what you saw early on was two different palettes uh, coming together. And we're just getting started. We're just playing with the palettes at each layer right now. We're not even looking at how to lay what, what happens when we mix, miss and, mix and match different layers. All right, so here, let's make them all that pink. We can do that. And what if we change the background to that blue? Again, not really my jam. Or you don't even have to do all that. We can do uh, white, right? Just plain something basic. Or let's do, let's do that cream at the back again and change the scallops to that and that. Did I change that? And there we have it. Okay, that one is white. So I can't make it show up even better because it is white and that cream color is already so light. But I can do like a gray. Oops, that was the wrong one. Let me undo that and select the right uh, layer here. I think there were, that was four, if I'm not mistaken. Not for the white is that it's two, 
So what if I to do a little gray? Looks like I've done mi mixed up all my colors, but you get the idea, right? You don't really have to. All you need to do is just play around the colors, experiment. Okay, so that's the scallops. And then I have the hearts. Um, really nice for Valentine's, as you can tell, but I can do, <clears throat> let's do that. Let's make that. Oh, yellow and pink. They look really nice, don't they? All right, so that's the hearts. And then finally, we have flowers. So the flowers are, they look like that. And all I need to do now is enable this. And they'll all be that color. And as I change these, as I change these, as I select the layers and I change the colors, the, the pattern will look different again. So that's just playing with the basics and playing with the color palette. What if we actually mix and match different palettes? So if I want uh, scallops and heart, I will, I will hide the flowers. And now I'm going to enable the hearts and the scallops. Now this is going to look really confusing and it doesn't make sense and it's an awful pattern, right? So what we do here is we open the layers of each one. Now instead of exposing or showing every uh, number, we want to, for scallops, let's say I want scallop 5 to show. That means I've got to hide the half circle 5. And if I want the half circle to be enabled, that means half circle number 4 to be enabled. That means I'm going to disable scallop 4. So that's like the way we you play around with it like that. Let's see here. If 3, I do that, then 3 over here must be blank. If I select that, then that must be blank. And I think we've got it. Hang on. Let's see. Where are we? 1. Okay, that's right. 1. I will not use 1 for the curse. Oops. Oh, look at me here. I was doing something silly. I was <laughs> enabling the wrong group. All right. So 5 hide, 3 hearts hide, and hearts 1 hide. Have I got it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is crazy. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Whoops. Okay, so now this is how we mix and match the different patterns. You come up with different patterns and again if you mix and match the colors let's say that one instead of that yellow we'll make it that blue or we can even make a different kind of blue okay that brighter blue can change that one to a deeper blue no that totally doesn't look right maybe that you can just play around with different color palettes and you'll have something completely different again so you, I think by now you just get the idea of how to do this. Okay, so now the other template that I have is a, as you can see here, it's a very patriotic design, but don't let that scare you off because even that you can, you can make it not so patriotic. Okay, so for this particular template, I don't have as many groups, but I can still do a lot with it. So let's see here. I have the lines right now checked and I have this that stars and I have that horizontal line and I have a different group selected. I've got a different rectangle here to make that border. All right, so I can make diagonal lines. Let's change the and for this one I have a different color scheme in the back, but let me change to that color scheme that um, I told you I found which has now disappeared on me because, all right, let me do this again. I really should have created a palette before I started this. Okay, okay, there we go. So there, I've got this horizontal line going and it looks pretty nice, right, with the, the red, but you see something different here? This red is like muted, right? And the reason is because I changed the opacity. Originally, the red is like that. So 
This is another way you can make different kind of patterns. You change the opacity and the color becomes slightly different. So I don't want it to be that. I want it to be that other color scheme that I chose. Okay, I can do that. And then I also have a different diagonal line going the other way. And let me change that to that pink. Okay, and again, that pink back there is muted because I just want it that way. But if I change the opacity, that's what it looks like. It's a really bright checked pattern. I guess you could say it's checked. But you can also mute it down, both of them to be like 20% or whatever percent that you want, maybe 50 here. Then it'll look really nice. That looks like a very nice plaid. Is that what plaid is called? Right? So that's one of the lines that we play with. Just now you, you saw I also have the stars and you can mix in the stars here if you want. But I think the lines and stars just don't line up together. So I'm not going to do that. So now I hide the lines. I've got what we call the fireworks. And so this one is a little bit more intricate. I can't. I have that and the large spokes. I make it pink. All right. And then maybe for the circles in the back, I will do them pink or I can do them that blue. So that's a really nice palette as well. But if I really want to, I could change the circles to something completely different. Maybe that green or the other, a different kind of blue or this deep blue. And it, it just really changes the vibe, if you know what I mean. And there you have it, another paper for you to use. And, and then we have stars and hearts. Now, let me enable this. So I have this st large star and then and each heart is a different group. They're grouped together and differently. So let's say I don't want all these. Okay, the first thing is in the stars, I just want, I want large stars. Mm. Or maybe that yeah so star two is that color i want to change it to that blue and then the hearts oh i don't know i won't do the small hearts yet but let's do well actually let's not do the large hearts and let's do the small hearts right there yeah i don't want all of them let's make this to do it like that and then i can make it all one color if i want of course it won't look that nice <laughs> But I can actually do, I changed it to make that center blue. Okay. And we can do it that way. So it's real different. Now let me expand it. So it's a little different. And for this one, I think I have, I can change it to a white background. Okay. And I will make the outline that red, right? Or that pink. So same with this one. This other star, let's see here. Not star, that's a heart. Which is the heart that we're looking at here? Uh, oh, that's a different group. Duh. <laughs> that's group four. And I will do the same thing. Maybe I will sw swap it around. So... The uh, same thing, I want it to be white here, but instead of that outline being pink, let me change it to that other blue. And let's see. Yeah. Let's see. This one, you know, we can have, we can have it pink like that. And in the center, maybe I want it to be, no, not the outline, but the center heart itself I will put it as that cream color so I'm going to do the same thing for the other one the center heart center heart let's make it cream there we go so that's a cute little pattern right there and even the stars let's see if I enable the inner star and let's do that whoops I haven't there we go uh, I think that's a little too much for me so we can do cream in the center and we change the outline color to pink so much at least to me you might have different styles and so on and forth so 
you, as you see, these are two different templates that you can use. Now, if you're a little bit more adventurous, you could probably combine these two, although this will not make them seamless anymore. Okay, that's just something you I want you to know. But let's say we create a new board, create digital board. So here's my new board and I want, oh, let's see, I don't know. We already have, let's do the zigzags because they're easy. So I'm going to select the zigzag group, copy it. I don't know if we go over and go over to the new and paste it. All right. So now I have zigzags over here. And then let me go back to the stars and stripes one. And hmm, this one is going to be a little bit more difficult to select. But oh, let's do dots. Dots are easy. Okay, dots. I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to select the dots, copy and then move over here and paste. All right, so I've got dots and zigzags. All right, let's play around with it. Okay, so one thing I'm gonna do different here is I'm gonna move this to like a horizontal that way. Okay, and I think that will give me a little bit more room to play. Yeah. All right, so I've got both layers enabled and Again, they look like a jumbled mess. So now we just want to see what we can drop and what we can use. I've got three enabled. So one, let me go there. Let's see here. No, not quite. They're kind of still overlapping. Okay, let me get that yellow zigzag out. Are there? Nope, not that one. Yeah. Okay, so. Now we've got something that kind of overlaps with each other, but that's fine. So what you can do is you can, for dots, you can change it around and make it, move it around if you want to, like that. And maybe I will drop that one and select, nope. Okay, that works. And I'm going to move them up like that. Well, that doesn't work either. Actually, it could work. So. Now, what I'm going to do is I might put this a little over here, right? Each dot layer, I might change it. Just remember, as you change the dot layers, it everything is going to go out of whack. Okay, so it's not going to be it's not going to be seamless anymore. That's one, and it's also not going to be it's not going to line up properly. It, it, that's what I'm trying to say here. So maybe I actually did make a mistake. Maybe I shouldn't have turned it the other way. Maybe I should have just kept everything here. That could be maybe I should have left everything. So now the dots are going this way and my zigzags are going the other way. And what if I actually enable all my zigzags, but I really mute them down, make it like, uh, really? So now they are really in the background. And for me to see it, what I'm going to do for you to see it a little better, I'm going to create a background here. Background layer, I'm going to make this the cream. Find that cream color. And I'm going to send it all the way, this rectangle, all the way back as the background. Okay, there we go. So now you see the entire. Um, Move this dot, these dots back up here because remember, as I change, if I move the layers, everything is just gonna go out of whack. Okay, so that's something that we have to remember. Okay, so that's one way I can. Yep. So when I mute it, it doesn't look as crazy, but you know that it's not just a plain background at the back. It's got a little bit something action going on in the background that you can barely see, which makes it really nice as well. So let's see here. Um, what if I don't, what if I make it even uh, at really 10%? Yeah. Now, again, as you mute it down, you won't, you can see it in the background, but there's some kind of texture. So it's not so plain as you look at it straight on. So that's another way you can mix and match two of these to come together. 
and I can actually show you how to make it even more advanced, but I'll probably show that to you in a different class or a different time. That's really going to blow your mind and that's really basically you're extracting every single one of these elements and breaking them all apart. And when you do that, it's it's everything is crazy then you really have a lot of fun with this you can really place the elements wherever you want and come up with something completely of your own without having to start from scratch making digital paper so i hope you really enjoyed this session it's longer than what i intended it to be but that's what I needed to get all of this out to you. And if you want this patterns, head down to the links below and you will find where to get them. Thank you so very much for watching. Lynette from Thrive Anywhere, heading out. Bye.